Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to yet another episode of the 3 and the 13 show. I'm 3, jersey number 3, Varun. And I am 13, jersey number 13, Raghav. So today on the show, we've got yet another Olympic medalist. The gentleman represents Canada, but he was born in Jamaica, and he runs like the wind. That I can assure you of. He's won the Olympic bronze medal at the Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games in the 4 into 100 meters men's relay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for Akeem Haynes. Hello, hello, hello. So other than all the accolades and sports that you have earned, you're also a founder of the Fame Over Fair Foundation and you received the Athlete and Excellence Award from the Foundation of Global Sports Development in recognition of your community service. Will you please share with us what your foundation stands for and what it means for you to win an award for your work at the foundation? So. The Faith Over Fear Foundation, as you can see, I got the shirt, Faith Over Fear. But the Faith Over Fear Foundation, you know, it it, it came to me. And basically, just to just to put it in a little bit more context, Faith Over Fear is a, is a foundation that I created to help single parent households, right? I come from a single parent household and I, 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 I knew the struggles firsthand of what it was like. You know, I had people who paid for me to play sport because my mom, you know, my mom couldn't afford it, right? There was some, like, we had some tough times. So I knew that if my mom was struggling, there's a bunch of other single parents out there. And I said, you know, one day when I'm in a place where I can make change and create something like this, then I was going to. And so what we do is, say, for example, say you want to play, uh, you want to play basketball but you don't have any shoes, right? Well, you would come contact my team and I, and we would go over some stuff and we would make sure that you have some shoes to play basketball and we'll throw in a $50 gift card so you can go get, you know, some food or some dinner or maybe, you know, some shirts or some socks. You know, we try to help de-stress um, the athlete or the person in general so, you know, they can kind of enjoy enjoy life you know every every youth should be able to just be to just be a kid right like nobody should be stressed i know we can't help everybody but man we are going to try right so that's where um faith over fear came from and why i started that and we've been able to help a bunch of kids i'm very proud of it um there's so much more things that we are hoping to do down the road and that time will come and to win that award it meant a lot to me I, honestly let me let me take it back I didn't expect it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't expect it. I'm a person that I strongly believe that regardless if somebody's watching or not, you still do the work and you still be a good person, right? So it, it kind of took me off guard. I had no idea that someone even nominated me for it, let alone me winning it, right? So it was, it was, it was good to receive um, because it means that, you know, um, somebody, somebody is appreciating the work. Um, that I'm doing and my team is doing. And, you know, that's that's really all you can ask for. We all want to feel appreciated, right? We all want to feel appreciated. 2016 Olympics was a very memorable one. And for the right reasons, we would like to say that a lot of people believe it was the last time they saw Hussein Bolt. So how was it, you know, running against a top athlete like Hussein Bolt? And do you think your teammate, Andre Degrasse, can be the next to Usain Bolt? I don't think so because nobody will be like Bolt, right? Just like how there will never be another you, right? They'll they'll never be another me. They'll never be another Andre. I think Andre, you know, he was we we were in the same training camp, so we actually trained in the same group in Phoenix. He's a very talented, uh, gifted athlete. He's one of the smoothest runners I've seen in a long time. You know, you know, Andre's a machine, right? So shout out to him. Um, he's got a lot of great attributes that will take him to the level where he needs to be. You know, he's already done a lot of great things in the sport. You know, he's already achieved a lot of good things. And the biggest thing for Andre is just for him to stay and remain healthy. You know, in the sport, if you can stay healthy, everything else will kind of come, right? But for anybody to be another Bolt, you know, he's, you know, no, nobody's like him, 
right? And and you know, you just gotta respect that, and you just gotta you just gotta appreciate it. <laughs> you just gotta appreciate it, you know. So, uh, but you know, Andre Andre is 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 going to go down as one of the best sprinters of all time. I'm I'm sure of that. So you have your own website wherein you regularly would post blogs and podcasts inspiring all others. So when you were actually kind of growing up and all your sports history, who inspired you? Website, www.akeeminspires.com, unscripted podcast. Make sure you go and check that out. Um, you know, for me, that's always, a, that's always a tough question to answer because um, I, when I speak and why I'm this way, one, I believe this is what God called me to do. Right. Like I believe sports was a platform. He called me there at a certain point. But this is what I believe he put inside my heart to do. So when I think about why I do this, you know, I never had this growing up for me. You know, I never really had someone speaking life into me until I was about 15 years old. Right? I didn't have somebody telling me different that I could do certain things until I was older. Right. So for me. I just wanted to be the light to the youth, to the people, to anybody that I didn't have, right? So when I go into schools, I make sure I give them a message that caters to them at that time. When I go into the corporate field, um, I give them the message that they may not hear. I give them a perspective that they've probably never really experienced before. So it just matters where I, it just matters where I go, but I just... I just believe that as humans, there is nothing that we can't tap into, right? Like a human doesn't know how strong they can be until you realize that being strong is your only option. My story is about perseverance and resilience, right? So whenever I go on stage, it doesn't matter who I'm speaking to, that's what you're going to hear. That's, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a person who was able to overcome uh, homelessness, who was able to overcome death, who was able to overcome a bunch of different things and is still pushing forward because as long as you got breath in your body, there is still something here for you. That means there's purpose for your life. As you can see, like I get passionate, right? Like talking about it. I got to calm down because I'm getting out of breath. But for me, I just get, you know, when when you believe something is your life's work, you should be passionate about it. You should you should get up and you should be able to speak with such vigor and such enthusiasm into something that you believe um, is is going to make the world a better place. And you know, for me, you know, I I just want to make sure that I do my part to leave the world better than how I entered. One quote that you always use to motivate others. Um, for me. That I always say, um, I always say it's in life, it's not what happens to you. It's what you choose to do next beyond the point of what happened, right? You know, we got to be able to, to, uh, to respond to life, right? When we respond to life, we gather our thoughts, we gather what direction we want to go in, and we use those same principles and try to apply it, right? You, you, we, we often can, can stay stuck in the past of what's happening to us. And because we have stayed stuck in the past, we don't see that, you know, things can get better, right? So for me, it's not what happens to you. It's what you choose to do next beyond the pain, beyond the hurt, beyond the mistakes, right? What are you going to do next that is going to allow you to become a better you and to grow and to become the best version of yourself that you can be? One thing that you could change from your past. I wouldn't change a single thing. I know that's one of the cliche statements that people say. But, you know, I really believe that everything that we go through is, set, is setting us up for something greater to come. And if I was to change one thing in my past, I don't know what else would change with it. So, you know, as tough as it was, as dark as it was, I, I, I can't change it because, you know, even in the dark, I was still able to see the light. So how about doing an impression of your uh, favorite celebrity or sports star? Impression. Um, man, who, I, I, I don't really have, um, okay, let's do a Mike Tyson impression. Um, hey, 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 what's up with Mike? <laughs> Mike Tyson is one of my favorite people, man. That's my guy. You know, I, I, I didn't do him justice 
when I said, hey, 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 what's up, it's Mike. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> so Akeem, we did some research and we found out that you share your birthday with other sporting idols, different sports, like Colin Kaepernick, the NFL quarterback, Ian Wright, Arsenal legend, Jared Muller, the football legend, and Roy Emerson, the Australian tennis legend. So who would you like to swap your career with? Out of all these four names, um, I would say I would say Ian Wright because you know soccer is universal. I mean, football is universal as well too. But man, it's just there's just like soccer is is one of my favorite sports. I like soccer more than I like track and field. So I would definitely say Ian Wright. So which feeling is better, the 2016 Olympic medal? or your ability to inspire and motivate someone else? That is a great question. I want to tell you a quick story, right? Um, as After the Olympics, right, I spoke at a school. And I went to this school and I delivered a message, right? I was going through some tough times at that moment, right? I wasn't even going to do this talk, but I went to go do it. And a couple days later, I got a message from this young man who says, hey, your story of perseverance and resilience encouraged me and inspired me to continue fighting my fight. I was not planning to come to your presentation that day. I was going to take my life that day. But because I came to your presentation, you gave me and inspired me and showed me another reason to live. That right there is greater than any Olympic medal, right? That's a person's life. And so for me, that just speaks volume. That just speaks volume. So Akeem, which feeling was better? Achieving the full athletic scholarship in 2013 or making it to the All-American team in the same year? By far the scholarship. Look, I grew up poor. You know what I'm saying? Like there was no way that I was going to be able to get my school paid for, especially in full, right? So for me, man, that... That right there was a dream come true for me. Um, yeah, so hands down, being able to get a full athletic scholarship. Roll Tide. Would you rather have a stadium named after you or an award? Man, what a question. What a question. That's tough. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> a stadium. A stadium. A stadium. A stadium. Why? Because... Um, an award is usually for one person, right? But a stadium, many may come. And for me, with speaking, you know, I want people to come to my stadium, many people to come to the Akeem Haynes Stadium. That sounds fire. I like that question. We may have to work on that. Perhaps we can get a, you know, we can get a stadium over in India at some point. You know that. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll talk and we'll discuss that a little bit later. You have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yet another champion on the 3 and the 13th show. Sharing his story for all of us to be inspired. Thank you for having me. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. I hope that those questions and, and, and maybe some of the way that I answered it, that, you know, it can speak life into somebody. It can touch somebody. Um, it can inspire someone. And, you know, truly, truly one day, I truly hope that, you know, I'm able to come over to India and just learn more about the history of the culture and the country. But until then, um, enjoy. We'll see you next time. Um, if there's anything that I can do, Anybody wants to keep in contact with me or reach out to me, you can find me on Instagram at, and I keep, always forget my Instagram handle, at underdog AKH, right? So until then, thank you again. We'll see you soon. We bring to you another story of inspiration next week. Stay tuned and like the YouTube channel Sports in Motion.